This here is my last photo walk in Mexico City for a while. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Okay, so you read the title. Let me find a place to sit and explain. And cue some melancholic piano music. Oh, so yeah, this is my last photo walk in Mexico City for a while. I just packed my suitcases and I'm moving to a new city. It's been four years here in Mexico City, more than I could ever imagine when I got here. So when I got here, I was, uh, I was living in Russia. I was with a Colombian girl who suggested we should move here. And I was working online, so I was like, it doesn't really matter where I live, so let's, we might as well go to Mexico. I had no idea about what Mexico was. I'd never been to Latin America. And a couple of months, maybe half a year after we moved here, we broke up and I stayed for the next four years in a, in a country and in a city I never imagined living in, in the first place. So it, I mean, for me, Mexico couldn't have been better than it has already been. And I'm not sure that the, the next city that I'm gonna be in will come close to my experience here in Mexico City. Like, the people has been so, so good to me. And it's, it's where I discovered photography in the first place. Before moving to Mexico, I never took a single photo with a digital camera in my life. I took photos with my phone here and there, but not for photography, just of friends and, you know, the usual. But it wasn't until I got to Mexico and I was in this, in this boat with my mom in Xochimilco and I took this photo of this elderly couple sitting in a boat with my phone that I thought maybe photography was something for me. And that's very late to discover that. I think I was maybe 26 or something, 27, 26. And after that I bought my first camera and since then I haven't looked back. So I have everything uh, to thank Mexico for. And this is the last photo walk in Mexico City. It's a bittersweet feeling walking around here in Mexico City when I know it's the last time. And my flight is tomorrow. But it's funny, like you see everything, even though I've been to this place and I've been in downtown more than anyone else taking photos for the past four years, you kind of see it with fresh eyes again, knowing that you're not going to go back real soon. I will be back though, 100%, maybe next year, but I'm going to live another place. For my last photo walk in Mexico City, what would be a better place than the chaotic downtown, which is where I've taken some of my favorite photographs. Let's see how this goes and uh, yeah, enjoy. Gracias. It's so good to be back and doing street portraits and street photography. And I'm gonna miss this a lot. So I wonder where I'm gonna end up next. Hopefully it's gonna be as good of a place for street photos and street portraits. Also today I'm shooting with the Fuji X-T3 and with the 56 mm 1.2, which is more like a portrait lens, but we're gonna use it for street photography today. I've been so excited and so happy that I bought this lens also for street photography. As you see here, these are some of what I think are my favorite street photos. And it's all shot with the 56 mm 1.2. Before we continue, I would like to thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare.
And for us street photographers and documentary photographers out there, there's a really cool class on Skillshare by a very talented photographer called Andre Wagner. And in his class on Skillshare, he talks a lot about his process and how you can get out and take photos that tells a story. It sounds so cliche, but in his class, he helps you go out with a purpose instead of just walking a random photo walk, but trying to come home with three or four meaningful photos. And in the description below, I put a link to Andre's class on Skillshare and the first 1000 people who sign up using my link in the description will get a free trial to a Skillshare premium membership. So check it out, it's worthwhile. And now back to the video. If you're traveling to Mexico City or you want to do photography here in Mexico City, then I made a whole video called The Photographer's Guide to Mexico City. I'll link it up here and in the description in case you need a guide on how to, where to go and what to do. Right here actually, I took one of my favorite photos that is in my print shop and I'll link to my print shop in the description below. But it's right here with these two kids are biking and they look like twins. So now you know. Pardon? Yo fotografía el gente de México. ¿Puedo tomar tu foto? Chido, amigo, gracias. In terms of where I'm going to go next, I'm not sure. But I think it's going to be in Europe somewhere, maybe Spain, Italy or France or something like that. Just to be a little closer to my family. And I'm not completely ready to return to Denmark. But I will at some point, maybe. <laughs> But if you have any ideas for some great cities, let me know in the comments. Within like Europe, that would be great. Amigo, puedo tomar tu foto? Aquí, ajá. Chido, muchas gracias, amigo. Buen día. Perdón, amigo. ¿Puedo tomar tu foto? Yo fui al gente de México. Alemán. Ah, alemán. Muy cerca. Danés. Danés. Ah, órale. All right, guys, we are ending it here. I hope you enjoyed this little and last photo walk for now. I will be back in Mexico at some point, 100%. I still need to go to Oaxaca and Tijuana, especially. Para los mexicanos, muchas gracias para el support. Estoy muy gracioso. But thank you so much, I appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon in another city and in another country. And if you want to support the channel and my Mexican street photography, then I put a link to my print shop in the description below. And by buying some of the prints, you will support the channel a lot. <laughs>